Hello, 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 and welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new. We are at Able Sisters today on my Cottagecore Island. I was going to say Jelly Bean. That's not Jelly Bean. Daisy Chain. We're on my Cottagecore Island Daisy Chain, and we're going to be doing some building today. Of course we are. Yes, yes, yes. I thought to myself, what do I want to build today? I was like, I'm going to have to make a start on these villager houses. So we're going to probably do a lovely big flower field for our lovely sweet girl Dottie today. Now, we will be doing it very close to here, and I'll show you where that is in a second but of course don't forget if you're enjoying it here if you are having fun here don't forget to like comment and subscribe come join the jelly bean family now let's get started with today's video so if you would just head over this bridge past April sisters this is where we're going to be building the flower field today i'm gonna make quite a big area and we're also gonna give a little space for dotty and we'll just go from there see how long that takes basically i've already chosen the cute outfit for today i've basically kept the shoes the socks and the hat and the bag the same but i put this adorable little dress on which has paw prints on the back how cute right it's so stinking cute anyway it's a shame that we have to get rid of my hat for now but we do need to put some pathing down and do kind of like a flower field like an angled flower field do i want angled flower field actually no do you know what no i don't you know you see those beautiful pictures of people that do the path going angled through the flower field i love i'm just showing you the motion <laughs> on the screen but you know which ones i mean they're beautiful they're stunning but i don't think i want to do that no 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 no. i think we want to go for full blown flower field and i think it would be beautiful although i wish i had a viewpoint for it okay i am trying to decide if that's <laughs> this is gonna be what we're doing today or if i want to put it somewhere else actually yeah do you know what we are we're gonna do it we're gonna do a beautiful flower field first things first what we need to do is find my storage cupboard i know it's around here somewhere i just gotta find it <laughs> me please tell me i'm not the only one who has to run around their island for at least 10 minutes trying to find their storage oh there it is okay we got it we got it we're all good i love how i just have a line of all the utility I need. I have my cupboard, my bed, my mirror, my storage shed, my pipe, and my DIY crafting table. The idea is to pop Dottie around here somewhere. I think what the best thing to do is to kind of plan out where I'm going to put her house. So we're going to do a four by four square. I think I'm going to put her here. I think it'll look cute. Wait, how far away is it from everything? All right, yeah, I, I think that's enough space. We'll soon find out. Okay, so now that I've got a place ready for Dotty, we can plan this out a little bit better. So I want to make a lovely little walkway that leads to this bridge, but also leads to Dotty's house. And then I think I'm going to do some terraforming behind here to, you know, just kind of elevate the island a little bit. I don't want this island to be fully flat, um, as you can tell already, because we've already done quite a bit of terraforming. So yeah, I'll need to work on that. But let's go get Dotty's house. Oh, by the way, look who I moved in. I moved in sweet little Silvana. I think she's so cute. She's like a little cinnamon roll. I love her. Now, let me know which is your favorite squirrel, actually, because I'd say she's probably one of my favorite squirrels in the game. But who's your favorite squirrel? Let me know. Let me know in the comments down below. So we have Dottie's house. So we're going to go place her down now. Oh, her house kind of cute. So let's time travel to the next day. So I'll see you tomorrow. So here we are next day. We're on the next day now. I don't know if I recorded the footage properly before I did the time traveling. I don't know if I have my mic muted so I'm not gonna know to I edit this footage but if I did we time traveled because we moved Dotty in <laughs> before i just recap on that just in case but anyway dotty is here now so she's cute she's adorable but i'm so unsure of her house but i really do not want to sit there and do 30 homes on happy home paradise just to change the exterior of her house i can't i can't do this to myself i've done it so many times now that her house is there let's start decorating like i said it is a shame that her house isn't like a cutesy cozy looking home and rio you're ruining you're ruining the aesthetic please bright red villager on this pastel white pink green island wait there's no green white and pink island is it white and pink and yellow i couldn't remember the other flower color i had okay this is going super well let's let's just start laying path down let's just start doing that so like i said the idea for this build was that we wanted to make a cute flower field now i think what i'm gonna do with this actually is i'm gonna put some planks down here instead i think it just might make it look a little bit more adorable but we'll see maybe it will maybe it won't we we don't know we don't know yet see what i mean though it just doesn't her house just doesn't look right why is this your house i'm not doing 30 homes it's not happening <laughs> 
It's not, it's not, it's not. Also, I don't think I like these planks like this. No, I don't. Okay, I'm gonna go with a more natural approach, I think. And we're gonna use some steps instead. So let's kick away some of this. Get rid of this. It just doesn't look right with her house, which is a shame because I thought it might be cute. I mean, it might have looked cute once I decorated around it, but I'm not gonna wait and see. I'm just gonna change my mind. <laughs> We're just gonna change what we're doing. Right, so maybe this would look cuter. I don't know. We'll we'll soon see. We'll soon find out. I don't know if it will, but yeah, you don't know till you try, like I said with most things on this game. Okay, so we've got the step. I'm gonna put a bush either side here just to make it look a bit more step-like, if that is even a thing. And then I think we might add another step lower down. Maybe like this. Maybe. Maybe that will look cute. I don't know. I'll have to try it. Anyway, let me go get some bushes. Okay, let's see how these look once we've placed them down. Hopefully, it makes it look a little bit like it's steps. Okay, cool. And then I'm gonna add the steps again to, like, the layer underneath. So it actually looks like steps. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cute. I kind of like it. I like that this bit is plain. I think I'm gonna leave this bit plain, I think. Maybe we'll add a plant pot here. That might look cute. Let's try this. Because we've got this cute, adorable plant pot code, which I think might look pretty cute. Oh, yeah, that does look kind of cute. Okay, so I've gone for some white fencing. I've got the white vertical board fence and I also have the white simple wooden fence. And I just want to test out and see what looks cute. I think this would be cute for behind her house. Wait, can I still get behind here? Oh no, that's okay then. Thinking I could get behind there then, I was like, oh no, I need to put it one square closer. But it's okay, it looks all right. Cute. I mean, her house is just giving me town vibes. It's it's bugging me, but she's such a cute villager. I don't want to get rid of her. Right, we definitely need a flower here. We need some flowers. We need some more fences we need you know everything <laughs> right so let's see what we can do with this fence so we got a lovely white wooden simple fence which might look cute just like this i think so we bring it across and then maybe leave it like that i want to have enough room to put a tree in so can we put a tree here oh yes cute cute okay nice this looks adorable it does give me little townhouse vibes though okay i'm loving her house now i've gone from not really being too fussed by the house the exterior and now I actually like it. <laughs> it looks like a little townhouse. We also need another tree. I need more trees. So we're gonna pop the other tree in here. Okay, cute. All right, I love this. I like it, I like it. Now we wanna sort out this. This isn't really gonna be a flower field. <laughs> I realize this isn't the best flower field, but it's okay. We're, we're gonna do our best with it. So I want the pathway to be quite narrow. I always like to, you know, think about what we might get next or what I'd like to see in the next game. And what I would really like, to be honest, is an easier way of placing paths, an easier way of terraforming. I think maybe in the next game they should offer us some sort of bulldozer. So a bulldozer to knock down the terraforming so that it's just easier, you know? Like we, we want easy, quick and efficient. That's what we want because some of us reset our island so many times. We need something that helps make this process quicker. Okay, I don't I don't know how I feel about this. It, it's very weird. It's a very weird shape. I mean, I don't I don't hate it, but I don't like it. I don't know. I don't know. Right, anyway, we'll just carry on and we'll see how it comes out because it might look better when all the flowers are around this. But like I said, this is less of a flower field right now and more of just a villager house. I definitely want to do another fl flower field on this island, I think. I think I definitely have a bigger one. I think that would be a, a great idea. So let's continue this path anyway and i will be back in a second right so there's the path i think it will definitely look better once there's flowers and all that good stuff and some more trees i definitely need some more trees over here because i don't want to put anything furniture wise back here i just want to keep it a little bit more overgrown flowery but i need to grab some flowers and then we'll start placing them and we'll see how it looks i am gonna pop like a tree here and make a little tree stump because i think that'd be a cute idea but we're just gonna pop the flowers down we're just gonna go for it so we're gonna go for like a specific order kind of i guess i guess you call it a specific order so yeah we're going white yellow pink white and then yellow again and then pink i'm just going to carry this on throughout this whole section and then obviously this this part next to it we are going to be adding the white flower like this so just kind of making it different does that make sense so cool kind of organized looking but kind of not okay so let's pop down one here and one here now i am going to chop these down i am going to make them into little tree stumps because I think they'll just look so cute. Like, tree stumps are cute, right? I love how I'm just obsessed with doing them on this island. I love it. Also, I'm kind of partially considering not decorating the interiors of any of the houses for this island. I don't know why. I just 
this is not my favorite thing to do. I just don't enjoy doing the houses. It's just, I never have, really. I don't feel, I mean, if I get the inspiration to do the house, I might do my house, but I'm not gonna do the villager houses. So I'm just pre-warning everyone that if you're hoping to see interiors, it's probably not gonna happen. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's not my thing to do. It's not my favorite, but that's fine. It's all good. But let's put some blanket coat on the floor here and just go from here. So we wanna make a little bit of a blanket moment here like this. I don't wanna bring it over too far because we do wanna do some terraforming here, I think. I say I think because I don't know. I'm always changing my mind with stuff. By the way, how much does Rio's house not fit this island? <laughs> like how much? How much does it not fit? Also, yes, I've already moved boots out i've already moved him he's already moved to my farm court island carrot i did that yesterday and i love him so much he's so cute i felt so cruel though like i felt so cruel kicking him out even though i knew where he was going i knew he was going to me because i picked him up i just felt cruel I didn't like doing it. It was, it felt mean. All right, so here's our flowers. It's coming along kind of cute. I like it so far. I don't know how far I'm going to bring this down. We're going to leave it like this for now. I think I might bend the river around like this just to cut the area off. I think that might look nice, actually. Oh, actually, we're going to do it now. We're going to do it now. We're going to make a pond. A pond, a pond, a pond. Yes, yes, yes. I love ponds. I think they're a great way to fill some space. I mean, there's lots of awesome ways that you can fill spaces on your island, but ponds are definitely one of them. If you're of a stuck for an idea and you've got lots of water terraforming on your island anyway just do a huge pond a huge pond huge lake or if you don't have any of those things a flower field or anything like that it will fill the areas i feel like you can't go wrong with a flower field either to be honest no matter what theme you're doing a flower field will fit in anywhere you could be doing a city and put a flower field smack bang in the middle and it would look cute but i'm not keeping this pond square <laughs> This is just like an outline of the size I want it to be for now. And we're just going to alter it a little bit. I need to move in some more villagers. I was thinking maybe I would like to do another villager hunt, but I decided against that idea. <laughs> I think one villager hunt is enough for me and then I'm done. I'm like, no, thank you. No, 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 no. Who else is the same? Like who enjoys villager hunts and who doesn't enjoy them? I wonder. I wonder if it's kind of an even match of us that do enjoy but don't enjoy. I don't know. I want to know. I want to know. What's the majority? What is the majority opinion? Do we like village hunts or do we not like them? Do we do we hate them? Are we over them? Did you used to enjoy them? You could spend so much time in so many tickets. I think the most I ever did was look for, you know, the sweet little cat Mary. I think I did over a thousand tickets. Oh, no, no, no. That was Kiki. Mary was like 700. It was absolutely insane. And I don't know why I bothered. The villager hunt that we did, I just wanted to try it again, you know, because some people have so much fun. That's why I wanted to give it another go but i don't i don't think it's for me <laughs> i don't think village hunt is for me i think the idea of having the amiibo cards has spoiled me ever so slightly i'm now like i don't need to village hunt although to find boots you know i have to village hunt boots which i don't have his amiibo card which is slightly upsetting but it's okay right so here we have our flower field I think I'm going to do a little wooden path going along this way just to kind of break up the flowers a little bit because I think it's going to be a bit too much otherwise. We have this cute little wooden one which might look nice. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Right, okay, cute. Okay, I like it. Kind of like it. Might do some bushes here. Bushes might look nice. Oh, do you know what? Rio is kind of cute. I do really like her, but she doesn't fit my island. Maybe I'll have to do a cute tropical island or a red island or something. <laughs> Just do an island based on one color. That would be kind of fun. I wonder if I could do it. Maybe two colors. Maybe not just one color. Maybe two. All right, so along here, I think I want to use the log stakes. Let me see if I have any. All right, so let's see if these look nice. It might look nicer to use these in a fence. Well, I'm hoping so anyway. All right, one there and one here. I don't want to add any trees because I want you to come over and see that there's a load of flowers. Okay, that's kind of cute. I like it. I do need to grab some more flowers quickly. So let me just go get them. Okay, yeah. So I'm definitely out of yellow cosmos. I wonder if they're selling them in my nook's cranny at the moment. I'm going to go check because if they are, I'll just plant them and then we'll just time travel at the end to see how they look because I really can't be bothered to go to a treasure island. <laughs> I just don't want to. It's just, it's too much effort sometimes. Wait, is this my first time coming into the new store after it's upgraded? Oh gosh, do you even Animal Crossing? No, I do not. I just go to Treasure Islands. Oh wait, we have Cosmos in. We have red Cosmos, white Cosmos, yellow Cosmos. Oh my gosh. The Nooklings, they have done it again. 
They have saved my skin. They have saved Daisy Chain. Do you know what? It is not all about Tom Nook. Do you know who, who's running this show? Besides me, the Nooklings. Yeah, Timmy and Tommy, they run this show. <laughs> Without their greatness, we wouldn't have yellow cosmos right now. <laughs> okay, so back to it. Down this way. So yeah, look at this walkthrough. It's starting to feel very, very built up now and I'm enjoying it. I think it looks so cute and I can't wait to do this area. Wait till it's finished and then it would feel even more built up. Exciting. Definitely want another tree here or do I want it? Ah, actually, we're going to put the tree here. I think I'm going to go for a cedar though. Let me grab a cedar. Okay, cute. I like it. While I'm just grabbing my bushes, I think I've just realized something and someone might have to let me know. But did I say that I was going to have Daisy? have the flower field and not dotty oops <laughs> oops it's okay wrong villager but it doesn't matter because they're both cute they both suit a flower field although i'm pretty sure i was gonna give dotty a carrot garden mm, okay this could be a problem <laughs> What do you reckon? Okay, let me know in the comments, actually. Let me know. Shall I swap Dotty and Daisy around? It won't be too much of a hassle. And should I give Daisy the flower field and give Dotty a little carrot farm? Or should we just give Daisy something different instead and leave Dotty like this because it's kind of cute? Let me know your thoughts. Right, I can't. This is too bare still. We're going to put some more steps. Oh, actually, this might look cute. What does this look like? Oh, yes, like that kind of looks really sweet and adorable. I like it. I like it. I like it. I was thinking of doing like a little narrow walkway around here, but obviously I can't do that yet because Rio's house is there. Okay, we'll go back to finishing the flower field off in just a second. I want to do some more decorating around this bit. So I don't want to just put flowers down. I think we're going to put a little bench here. I think that'll look kind of cute. Let's pop this here. Oh no, it doesn't look right. It's too big for the area. It's too big. We're going to put a little code on the floor here though because I want to put the, what's it called? The book stand, the book box, the book something. I want to put that here. You'll see. You'll see what I mean. I can't remember what it's called. There it is. Tiny library. I knew it was called something. I think it looks kind of cute. Maybe not there though. Okay, yeah. The tiny library definitely looks better this side. It was just too in front of her house, you know? It was just there. It was in front. It was too close. Too in line. There you go. That's the word I'm looking for. Now, I do want to put something here. I think I'm going to end up just putting a flower here, if I'm honest. I think that would be the best option. Yeah, see? That looks kind of cute. Right, this all looks like it's very just straight lined at the moment. So, we want to add some more of the flowers over over this side but i also don't want to just add flowers so we're gonna put some stuff on the floor also while i was grabbing some stuff from the storage to decorate this area i was thinking about what to put in the area where i currently oh no this has gone terribly wrong why is this happening as i was saying i was also thinking about the area over where my storage shed is in that that i'm gonna decorate as well today and i thought to myself do you know what we're gonna do we're gonna do a little flower stand there i think it'd be a cute idea I know we've already got a flower stand market area, but you know, you can't go wrong with having more. So I'm going to put some more there. Actually, I'm thinking maybe I might use some storefronts. I think I have some. I'll have to check. I think I'm going to carry on this vertical board fence over to here though. I think it just might make it look a little bit nicer. So that gives us enough space to work with. Also, I'm going to have to add an incline in here somewhere. But anyway, let's move all this. This is all in my way now. <laughs> So we're going to have this area to work with now. I've moved all that stuff, but we do need to terraform this so I can get that incline in or at least plan where the incline can go. I think I want to bring this around like this or do I want to stick trees behind her? I might stick trees, you know, it might look really pretty. Actually, no, it's just more, more stuff, isn't it? It's just more planting that I don't want to do. Scrap that idea. We're just going to fill this in like this, make it look a bit more natural, take in that corner. And we're just going to pop the incline here, to be honest. I think it might look cute. Okay. Okay, pretty. Yeah, so the incline should go in here nicely. And that means we'll have this square here to work with to make our little flower shop. So I'm going to put these storefronts here. Okay, cute. I don't think I... Do I have simple panels? I don't know if I do. Let's go check. I'm going to check if I have any simple panels because I think some simple panels might look nice. Okay, so I'm going to have to order some more simple panels because I've decided to do something else instead. I forgot I had these really cute, adorable cottage cards. So we're going to be using these. Make a cute little cottage also it's an area that will sell flowers still we'll still have that but it's a cottage instead i think it might look cute i do need to order some more of these panels though so that goes like this maybe then we'll do the top a top part as well so the building's a little bit bigger and i think it's a cute idea right it's cute are these round the wrong way though i think they are yeah it's meant to be that way round i'm pretty sure of it 
I don't think, does it matter? Does, does it matter what way around they are? Anyway, I'm going to order some more simple panels. So I went for the natural incline again. So we're just going to pop it here. Hopefully it looks cute. I'm going to see before I obviously place it down. Okay, yeah, it kind of looks cute. I don't know if it's too close. Well, it's going to have to do. <laughs> It's, it's gonna have to work. We will make it work. Okay, so that's done. So I I guess we'll do some time traveling because I do need to get that incline built in and I need to get my simple panels. Actually, do you know what? We're gonna place down the flowers first. So I'm gonna carry on placing these down and then we'll do a bit of time traveling. Okay, so I finished placing some of the flowers for now, as you can see. We still need a lot more. This one needs to grow in. So some of them need to grow in because we did run out of yellow cosmos. But that's okay. Th they'll grow in eventually. But I do need to time travel so that i can get this incline built so that we can work on this little area next so i'll see you on the next day so we got our simple panels i've actually gone forward two days because i went forward the first day and it was so gray it was gonna rain and i was just like no oh bill he's just stuck on the steps do you oh he does want to speak to me <laughs> I was confused. Hey, more reactions. Check this out. Wow. Use that if you ever see we get beat at arm wrestling. Why are the jocks so strange sometimes? I mean, the jocks are strange. My favorite villager is a jock and that is boots. But, but still, they come up with some weird stuff. Although most of the villagers do. So we have our simple panels and I've customized them ready to go. I actually need to time travel two days because it was going to rain. It was so gray. It, it was gray, gray, gray. Like it would have rained a lot. And I didn't want to do another build in the rain. But anyway, we need to bring this out as well. Dottie's here. Look, sweet little Dottie. Bless her. She's come to check out what we're building around her house. <laughs> I only want to bring this out a couple of squares because I'll probably fill the rest of this area in off camera, if I'm honest. Because like I said before, in my previous video terraforming is um boring it's very boring just give us a bulldozer big massive bulldozer to either squish or terraforming or waterscaping and then something like the same but does the reverse okay that's all we want that's all we need please please give it to us all right we're gonna put some cute little windows up here this is just something that i've just made up hopefully it looks cute <laughs> I'm hoping it will come out adorable anyway. And if not, we'll just be pulling it down because that's how we do things. It kind of looks cute. I don't know. We do need some more storefronts though. So let me just grab those. Oh my gosh, look at her. She's just hiding behind this tiny library. Sweet little Silvana. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I love her. Who else has Silvana? Or, you know, what what villages do you have? Let me know your villages. Do you have any cute little cottage core squirrels? Or who do you have? Just let me know. Who's your favorite? Actually, instead of letting me know every single villager that's on your island, who's your favorite on your island currently? So we just need to push this last storefront in and then our building should be complete. Unless I decide to put more storefronts behind. You see, you can't see it. This is what bugs me. <laughs> This is what bugs me with the storefronts. Like, you can't see the top part. Ah, I think I might get rid of these simple panels. Maybe it will look better. Let's see. See, I had this issue when I was making my barn on my farm court island that I'm doing on stream. And I couldn't decide. And everyone was like, oh, it looks better without the simple panels and just with the storefronts. So I'm thinking this is the same case. So I'm just going to get rid of these. I'm just going to use just the storefronts and that's it. I think it'll look okay. Oh, no, I am stuck, though. Why in every video do I get stuck? Please please. So let's push these right up. I might do a back part to this, but we'll probably do that in the next build when we do up there anyway. When we do when we do up in this section, we'll probably sort the end of this build out. So I need another pink flower here. Do I have a pink flower in my back? I do not. Maybe a bush. Let's put a bush instead. We're going to change it up a little bit. Okay, the bush looks cute. So what I want to do now is kind of connect this incline to this little house area. I just, you know, it just kind of brings it all connected together. Not that that makes any sense. <laughs> Like, what do I actually say that makes sense? I can't figure it out. Right, we need to finish doing these flower area here. So I need to finish filling that in. But this is an awful lot of flowers. We we also need to finish this bit. One more pink mum and this little square here will be done. It'll be complete. Although I am tempted. Actually, no, no, no. Don't worry about it. I know what I'm going to do. We no longer need that pink mum. I don't know why I've been calling it mum. It's a hyacinth. Don't mind me. I'm getting all the names wrong. I'm getting all confused. To be honest, I'm pretty tired today. <laughs> I feel like I said that all the time. I am tired. I get up early and sometimes I don't sleep too great. So I'm tired, but it's okay. We're still here. We're still building. We're still thriving and Dottie's here too. We're, we're doing this. We got this. So yeah, we're going to pop down this little grass coat. Okay, cute. I think I picked up a mush parasol. I, I believe I did. I did. I did. I did. Maybe this will look cute. Oh, yes. 
Oh yes, that looks so much more adorable rather than just use all the flowers. We now need to make a start on this area. So I'm thinking we might add some stools, but I don't know if it might look a little bit strange because these are doors. Unless we change one of the doors over and pop down one of these. Nope, we will find the window. <laughs> We will find one. There we go. Cute little window. So we have our customized stool. Moment of truth. Will it look cute? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know. Oh, do you know what? I've had an idea. Let me go grab something and this might work even better. Okay, I have this counter. It's called... Oh my gosh, what is it called? Covered counter. It's literally just called covered counter. Maybe this looks better? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> honestly don't maybe if we pull this forward like this and then it kind of looks like this is the little stall oh <gasps> what if we have a cashier do i have a cashier is it called a cashier no it's called a cash register i need to check i'm really sad because i don't have a cash register and i don't want to go to a treasure island just to get a cash register so we're gonna change our mind and we're gonna do something different we're gonna add some flowers on here like we did over by the little flower stall that we did by nook's cranny i had to try and remember where it was then and I think this might look okay. Oh, I forgot I had this. Wait, wait, wait. This might look cute. Oh, it blocks the window, but it's okay because we know the window is there. But this looks like it's a little shop now. If only we had the cash register. Maybe we'll get that later on. Anyway, this looks kind of cute, I'm thinking. I kind of like it. Let's fill it out a little bit more. We don't want to put too much here because otherwise we'll block the stairs. And then what's the point in having the stairs there? I've got this little plant to go on top of the barrels, which is kind of cute. And now we are running out of space. <laughs> We're running out of space pretty quickly. I feel like this little area is done. I'm not sure if I like this. Maybe if we pushed it closer, it might look better. Yeah, it looks better closer, I think. I don't know. If I end up changing it, I end up changing it, but we'll see. We also need to add some more stuff. We've got this little blanket we have to decorate here. And just... Just add more, you know? We need more stuff. Maybe a garden wagon would look cute here. Let me see. I don't want it to look like too much. So it is on the steps and I don't want it to get rid of the illusion of the stairs, but I don't think it does. Not not too drastically anyway. Now this bit I'm not going to worry too much about because I am going to be bringing that terraforming around. And I think I'm going to make like a little waterfall here. Maybe little jumping stones for you to jump over. Also, I realize you can't get over there. Can you can you not get over there at all? Oh my gosh, have I completely blocked out a whole space? Uh-oh, it's okay. <laughs> It's fine. You can just walk around. Right. Okay. Maybe we'll scrap the idea of a waterfall and we'll do a path and do something else here because yeah, I didn't realize I don't have a bridge over to this area. I thought it was a bridge from Abel Sisters if I'm honest, but clearly not. Right. Let's finish off the build today by decorating this picnic blanket and then we'll see where we're at with the build because you never know. I might want to put some more stuff down. <laughs> it's usually the case. I'm usually like, wait, we're not done here. <laughs> We're not done yet. I thought to myself, instead of doing the usual where I normally just chuck down a cake and some music and have like a cute little area like that, I'm going to add books. We're going to have books. This is a little reading blanket now. And look at these cute books. These are so adorable. I, do you know what? I need to use the books more, especially on this island. I need to use them more. And then I think for the final little piece here, we're going to add some candles. This isn't the most fire safety thing. So we'll leave those candles not lit or unlit. I don't know what the term is, but we'll leave them like this because... <laughs> Yeah, we don't want to cause a fire, even though you can't get fires on Animal Crossing, but you never know. Okay, that looks kind of cute, I think. Maybe? Maybe we're going to get one more book. I think I'm going to get an open book. Okay, so here's our open book. I've got the bug one because I like the butterfly picture on the pages. See, it just looks so cute. But there you go. You can sit here, enjoy your book, enjoy your candle that's not lit. <laughs> Perfect. I want to add a tree here for sure. So let's grab a tree. I'm going to go with just the normal hardwood tree. I think they'll look nice. I'm hoping it will let me put it here and that Drake's house isn't in the way, but I think it is. I think his house is in the way, so I don't think it's going to let me, but we're going to find out in just a few seconds. Also, I'm not keeping Blavis in the tent. I just haven't given him fossils yet. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Will you let me put this tree here? It did? Okay, cool. I didn't think it was going to, but I'm happy that it did. Bring this round like this. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Actually, do you know what? I'm going to leave the little gap. I think that'd be nice. And then this will be the walkway for you to get round to the other side. Maybe that's a cute idea. Maybe it's a silly idea. We will find out in the future. In the future when I'm like, why did you do this? 
why have you done this? Why, when, where, why? <laughs> anyway, let's make that path so we don't forget because otherwise I will forget. I think I'm gonna go with the grass just because it's a little bit more subtle. Just, just gonna bring it around a little bit. See, I don't know when to stop. I need to be told when I need to stop building because I will carry on and on and on. This island will be done. Honestly, it will. <laughs> to be honest, I'm probably going to do another build after this video that I've just recorded because I'm in a building mood. So I might record another build straight after. We'll see. We'll see how we go. Anyway, I think that's the last thing we're going to do for this build today. I won't be able to continue it in the next build because the houses are in the way and I need to move all those first and move some villagers in. But we have this cute little picnic area. Well, it's not a picnic area. It's a reading area. Yeah, it's a reading area. I've got these lovely mush parasols and it just feels like a huge flower field, I feel. And I actually really like how it's come out. I'm sure Dottie's very happy with it. The pink flowers definitely match her bag. We've got this little random building over here, which is kind of like a flower shop, but isn't like a flower shop so i don't know what it is but it works i guess it definitely needs a leaf pile which i still don't have it's okay we'll, we'll figure it out when we go to set a dream address but anyway i hope you enjoyed today's build i'm sure dotty's enjoying her little house area since she's just you know walking around it here she comes now actually or is she gonna sit she sat it's fine now as always if you enjoyed your time here today don't forget to like comment and subscribe come join the jelly bean family have the loveliest of days i'll see you in my next one goodbye